Yo what's up guys this is Atrix here today we'll be taking a look at a brand new windows emulator for android which is capable of running games like GTA 5 natively on your smartphone it's such a crazy concept and to set up this emulator it's a little bit complicated so i advise you guys to watch the video till the end let's get started so for today's video we'll be using an open source project known as box64 droid so these are the wine based windows emulator which will be running on our android devices today on their official github page you will find more information about this project we'll have to execute this code on our android devices to run box64 but if we scroll down then we'll get the minimum requirements etc so right here are the system requirements you need adreno 616 gpu or above so probably snapdragon 730 processor or above also, Adreno 7 series GPUs are not working for now. I have my OnePlus 11 but I can't really use it for Box64 because it doesn't work on Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 uh, GPUs. Android 8 or above, 64 bit Android device, you also need at least 5.3 GB free storage so you don't really face any problems. On this page, there are also instructions like how to configure, etc. But we'll be doing that on our own. We'll need two tools for this emulator Termux and Termux X11. So for this you can just visit box64 droid official github page let's just go ahead and do that so termux x11 is also completely open source available on github and for the original version of termux we will need to use f droid which is also completely open source project there we go guys i have the termux x11 loaded and also f droid so let's just go ahead and open and let it update the repositories till then we'll just search for termux let's just go ahead and tap on termux Afterwards, just open it. By the way, if you have a Mali GPU or PowerVR or Adreno below 616, you can use WordGL, which is this command right here. But the device which I am using today has Snapdragon 888 processor, so we'll be skipping over that. Let's just go ahead and copy this command. Afterwards, just go ahead and open Termux. Now click on Don't Allow and just go ahead and paste the command right here. Click on Enter. Now wait for a few seconds, it will say starting installation, please wait. Box64 droid creates a folder inside internal storage. Afterwards just go ahead and click on allow. Now it will just start installing the repository on your android device. This process will usually take around 10 to 15 minutes so you'll have to be patient. It also depends on your android device. For example if you have an low end device it will take more time. Afterwards when you get pop ups like this all you have to do is type Y and then click enter. Now there will be few pop ups like this uh, throughout the procedure like this. Click on enter and there we go. Now we just have to wait for a few minutes. This is little bit time consuming so I'll just keep my android device right here. Now once the process is completed, you just have to start box 86 or box 64. We'll need to use the start box command. So let's just go ahead and type that start dash box. Click on enter afterwards it will start. We want to use the box 64. We can also change wine version. We can update box 86 and 64, update system and much more. Now all you have to do is just type one and click on enter to start box 64. Afterwards, you'll have to choose your resolution. So we'll just go ahead and type 2, click on enter and box64 droid has started. Here you will also find instruction if you want to stop box64. Now all we have to do is just open termux11 and there we go guys a window has opened. Now all we have to do is just rotate your device and there we go guys at the top left corner you will see box64 has successfully started. Now there are some uh, issues with the resolution uh, according to my device. Once box64 is loaded you will also get this mouse cursor. This tutorial was about how to set up box64 droid on your android device. Once this video reaches 500 likes I will make sure to upload gameplay of GTA 5 running on this emulator. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. See you guys next time. Peace out.